the average American spends at least 80,000 hours of their life at work. How cool would it be if during those 80,000 hours you felt things like trust, camaraderie, fun? How different would work feel if the people we were with brought out those emotions in us? I love attending Sarah's conferences. She is so interactive. She really draws the audience in. She dialogues with the participants. And she's especially relevant. Strategic HR is very hard subject matter right now to be tackling because there's not enough out there. And if you want your organization to be competitive in the modern workplace and the modern markets that we exist in, we have to master developing and maintaining and sustaining quality relationships. And this is where we can come to our organizations and say, in this modern environment, which is constantly, rapidly changing, I can help you and everybody in our organization leverage quality relationships. And that's where we'll get the return on our employment investment. I definitely feel as though she's approaching it different than any other conferences. So it's not the typical, here's my PowerPoint, I'm gonna stand up here and lecture to you, and then I'm gonna tell you that you know, you need to go back and just do these things and yay for you. You know, she makes it fun, interactive, but then she also gives you really helpful, realistic tips. In HR, we're very defense heavy. Our game plan is to prevent the damage caused by the few. That's what defense is. Defense is in, in the workplace, in the modern workplace, preventing the damage caused by the few. Hopefully it's the few. If not, you've got a recruiting problem. Right? That's why we come up with policies, right? That's why we have dress codes. That's why we have codes of conduct. That's why we have rules, right? To minimize the damage caused by the few. What about everybody else? Offense is leveraging the contributions of everybody else. So we have to shift our identity. And I'm, I'm seeing it happen. This is fabulous, I'm seeing it happen. But we have to shift our identity to a balanced approach. We can't give up on compliance and risk management because if we don't do it, no one else will, right? <laughs> and we don't want to increase the liability in our organizations. That would be detrimental. So in HR, if we're going to have an effective strategy, we have to change our identity and our strategy to a balanced approach. She always mixes it up. Uh, it's always interesting to see what she has new to say, and she always makes it very real life. It's a joy to see her. We gotta get out, we gotta interact, we gotta interject with, with others in our organization, with the employees, with, with the managers, with operations, with our customers, with our vendors. You heard the stories of the panel of, of how they were doing some of that. They were getting outside the traditional HR focus and learning about what drives their organization. Well, immediately after attending my last presentation with Sarah, we went into strategic planning. I contacted her immediately. We went into a leader shift activity and workshop that we were going to be able to do with the attendees to get their mind open to enter our new strategic planning year. And we're trying to turn that organization even just two degrees to really accomplish goals that we um, are a far stretch from what we might have done in the past. Employees that work in an environment that fosters employee engagement and personal accountability will contribute their best on a regular basis. Strategic HR is critical for these organizations to foster this culture. <laughs>